Here is a video brought to us by Right Wing Watch, a great YouTube channel. Uh, Scott Adams uh, goes on cam and he imagine, imagines some satanic coincidences in the Joe Biden campaign. He says he's an atheist, but yet he believes in Satan. Um, now, uh, here's something that's uh, caught my attention and I can't release on it. Uh, as you know, I'm not a believer in um, any kind of religious anything, but I can't help noticing how many satanic coincidences there are with the Joe Biden campaign. And they just have to be mentioned. Now, again, I'm not a believer, but it's you're not a believer, but you're going to point out <clears throat> quote unquote satanic stuff with Joe Biden. Kind of odd. It's becoming a weird coincidence of how many things look satanic. For example, uh, Joe Biden is in favor of what he said, bringing the light to the darkness. And what is happening as he's speaking? As he's speaking and saying, I will bring the light to the darkness, cities are actually on fire. California is on fire. I'm in Arizona and I'm watching the entire valley is full of smoke because some part of the Phoenix area is on fire. Wow, okay. So his first proof that Joe Biden is satanic is that Joe Biden talks about bringing light to the darkness and there's something natural in the world going on, i.e. fires around the United States. Wow, that's hilarious. How crazy do you have to be to actually, you know, connect those two? So if you were Satan, wouldn't you expect that Satan would speak in terms which are true but misleading? Meaning uh, he will bring you the light, but there's a catch. It's fire and it's burning your stuff. That's exactly what Satan would say if Satan existed. That's exactly what Satan would say if Satan existed. Right, because you know what a fictional character would say. I mean, anybody pretty much does because a fictional character can say anything that anybody wants. So this guy is just making up stuff and trying to act like Joe Biden is somehow a Satanist or Lucifer or whatever. Now, I'm not saying that, that Joe Biden is possessed by Satan. I'm just saying it would look exactly like this. Now, are there any other clues? Well, how many people or entities do you know who prefer to live underground? I can think of Satan living in hell. And what, who would be another person who prefers to live underground? Could it be basement dwelling Biden? Does Biden actually live underground? I mean, I've been in several places where the it's a duplex, but the second apartment is underground. Basically, the the basement instead of a basement, it, you know, it's a second apartment. So a lot of people live underground. There's, you know, underground homes. There's uh, some hobbit homes that uh, are underground. There's houses that half of it is underground. So this idea of Biden being possessed by Satan because he lives in a basement and Satan lives underground is not a real good connection. I mean, you can also uh, showcase various divinities that also are controllers of the underworld, like Hades slash Pluto, or uh, the Norse goddess Hell. You got the um, Egyptian god Anubis. They live underground. So why isn't there a connection with those divinities? Why is it just Satan? I only know two people who are famous for living underground. 
Can you think of even a third one? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, but that could be a coincidence, right? I mean, you know, there are coincidences. So if there was anything to this satanic thing, you would see lots of little hints because don't they say that that Satan, uh, the, his biggest trick is telling you he doesn't exist? So you would... He would but who tells you that? Christians. Why would Christians say anything good about their enemy? It would be hiding in plain sight, but there would be lots of clues if you were not blinded by the satanic influences. For example, um, what is Joe Biden's uh, slogan? Build back better. Build back better. BBB. If you were going to imagine 666 and you wanted to show it to people and disguise it at the same time, can you think of any letter that the numeral six would fit inside completely? Wow, okay, so now the letter B represents evil and it represents the number six. Wow. This guy is really going off the deep end and he's supposedly a non-believer. So now we have triple B being triple six. So anytime you see a B, just think about it, it's evil. Only capital B. Capital B is the only letter that you could put a six on the inside of it and it would be concealed. If you put a six over the number one, you'd say, hey, why'd you write a six over the number one? It would be obvious. But you could hide a six in a capital B. Could be a coincidence. Um, how about the name Joe Biden? Well, there, there's no 666 there, right? So Joe is, that's, you know, three letters. Biden is five. You know, there, so there's no symbolism there. Except I was looking at it a little bit closer. And do you know if you took the capital letter J, just imagine the capital letter J in your mind. Now think of the next letter in Joe. It's an O. Now just move in your mind the O to the left until it's on top of the J. It's a backward six. Wow, wow. You're making a pretty far stretch having to superimpose uh, in your mind uh, the O from Joe over the J to make it look like a six in order to keep up with this connection of 666. So that's the J and the O, the form of backward six. Now suppose the next letter is the, the lowercase e. What does a lowercase e look like? A lowercase e looks like a lowercase e. If you turn it upside down. Well, it looks like a six. Oh, oh, you have to turn it upside down in order to continue with this connection of 666. But whoever writes a 6 as an upside down E, or an E as a 6, it just doesn't work. So you got the J and the O together. If you combine them, it looks like a backward 6. You've got the lowercase E that looks like an upside down 6, but that's just two 6s. 6 6 wouldn't mean anything, right? But the next letter is capital B for Biden. And capital B is where you hide your six. So even J-O-E-B is 666. But then you say to yourself, <laughs> Okay, so the new mark of the beast is uh, J-O-E-B, which just means nothing. Well, Scott, 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 you can find a pattern in anything. Uh, how do you explain the rest of the word Biden? Like, you know, it's easy if you just, if you just cherry pick, if you just cherry pick, you know. Right. It is easy if you just cherry pick, which is what you're doing. Odd how he knows what he's doing and still doesn't really care. Uh, <laughs> you know, you can get that.
But what is the what what is left of the word Biden if you take out the B because that's where the six is hiding? What's left of the word Biden? Are you ready for this? I D E N, I D E N, identity. Six six six, identity. Oh wow! Okay, so supposedly Joe Biden's name means uh 666 identity as long as you cherry pick you got to remember that you got to cherry pick a little bit in order to make it work so i guess joe biden is satan and he's been waiting this long in order to do something he's been waiting to get elected by a group of people in order to take over the government instead of just you know doing it by force, being if he's supposedly, supposedly, uh, this being a pure evil. That's what Joe Biden's name actually is. 666 Identity. Now you say to yourself, Scott, you could pick any complicated situation and you could find all these random pat patterns and it. it's been proven a million times. And I say, yeah, it, I, I agree. Wow, so he knows that you can take anything whatsoever and pretty much make it into whatever you want. Yet he still wants to believe that Joe Biden is Satan. Either he's uh, doing this so that he can get a rise out of the Trump supporters, you know, make them think that Joe Biden is evil, or this guy is just totally off the walls. There, there are lot, I'm not saying that he's possessed by Satan. I'm just saying there are a lot of coincidences. So let's look at Kamala Harris, for example. Kamala Harris, um, you, you'd, you'd be looking for the same sort of thing. So let, how many letters are there in Kamala? K-A-M-A-L-A. -A -A. Well, six. But what are the odds that that means anything? How many letters in Harris? H-A-R-R-I-S, six, all right. So that, but that's just two sixes, right? Two sixes means nothing, and that's just a coincidence. What is she running for? V Vice President of the United States. So Kamala Harris, Vice President of the United States, is three sixes. Wow, okay, so what is uh Biden Satan and uh Harris the Antichrist? Oh, what a twist if the Antichrist was a lady because you, you know, in in the stories the Antichrist is normally uh viewed as a guy. Ooh, ooh what a twist. Um is that a coincidence? Might be. Could be. So there's one, there is one uh, candidate, Joe Biden, who has a coincidental association with the number 666 in a, in a variety of ways. He lives underground exactly like Satan, and he talks exactly like Satan, telling you he'll bring you good news, but it's really a trick of language that it's bad news. Is he bringing you the light? Yeah, he is. Your house is going to burn down. You're welcome for all the light. So I'm just putting that out there. Uh, as I said, I'm not a believer, so I don't believe in either uh, religion or Satan. Uh, this entire video kind of proves otherwise, in my opinion. Because if you did not believe in such stuff, you would not be trying to connect somebody to a fictional creation. So you actually are a believer even though you want to pretend that you're not. I'm just pointing out there's a lot of coincidences going on. That's all.